Hi to my voice family, my name is Chipo Tamba Tamba and I graduated from Copperboch University where I obtained my bachelor's degree in bioinformatics with a merit. Here's how I did it. Uh. Yeah. Uh. When you get on campus the very first time, the words that you hear around you are things like pressure, umuntu cochlea, and an entire atmosphere or mindset that can instill fear in you. In my first few weeks, I succumbed to those terms and I figured that maybe it was me with the problem because I wasn't actually seeing the pressure. So you create your own pressure just for you to keep up with everybody else. But over time, I got drained and I realized that with these few pages, you can't have pressure. So I declared a few things that helped me to win in school. The first thing that I declared was my speech. I told myself I would never say anything to demean any course, no matter how hard it is, no matter how mean the lecturer is, I would always speak positively because I knew I had to pass that course. One of the courses that hit me so hard were physics. Physics was my enemy. I loved physics. I wanted to pass it, but it just wouldn't cooperate. In my first test, I got like 47%. And my second test, I got 49% because the lecturer gave 10 free marks. But in all those times, I said I will not declare evil against physics. So I, I kept on saying, I love you physics and I'm going to do my best every single time. Up to after the final exam, when I got my results, I, I found that I had passed it, I had cleared it, I had passed it, I wanted to pass it, but I had cleared it and that was okay. And after getting that C, I told myself, I hated physics, but I'm glad I passed it. Another thing that I declared for myself was not to relate to memes that demean school. Sometimes we think that it's just funny or it's just relatable, but what we don't understand is that our mindsets, our minds, and even the spirit realm has no jokes. Whatever you accept in any form or way becomes signed in your life as something that should be true. And so you find that when you, the more you declare things like umuntu kuklia, your grades begin to portray that. And even if you wanted to do more, your speech is not aligned with that and you keep on falling short. All these things were tools to facilitate my positive mindset. When people talk about depression and stress or mental health, I keep on wondering why they don't address the necessary tools that are needed truly to combat mental issues. Mental issues are just issues that occur in your mind and frankly everything occurs in your mind whether it's school, whether it's dedication to church or dedication to any other thing, it starts in your mind. So one of the most important things that you should do to secure your mindset is to be born again because the more that you live in the Word of God, the more your mind is renewed to conform to a higher level of living. And this higher level of living affects everything, especially your physical, your physical pursuits. So, changing of speech and not relating with memes were all just part of uh, a system to build up positive mindsets that are in line with what scripture wants us to live out. So I encourage every student, I encourage every person who's pursuing anything, that your mindset is the biggest tool, the strongest tool that you have in winning. And so making sure your mind is conformed to the things that are above, I know what's on earth like depression or stress or, or things like I'm just surviving, put those things away and conform to a higher level of thinking and watch your life continue to flow in that very same direction. Thank you.